Today we are talking all things hair. I am so excited to finally be bringing you one of the most requested videos on my channel, which is a hair tutorial. I feel like I only really have like four different hairstyles. Like I literally am so basic when it comes to hair. I would love to be able to do like these really, I don't know, like crazy hairstyles with all these amazing plaits and braids and stuff. I just it just doesn't work for me. So if I can actually do these hairstyles, you guys definitely can as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So the main thing when it comes to my hairstyles is these two front bits are literally like the stars of the show. I literally have these two curly bits at the front of every hairstyle that I do pretty much. And um, I'm not too sure on the way that I've curled them today. Like literally, it's so typical. The day I go to film a hair video, my hair just doesn't want to cooperate. But you know, that's just standard. Also, I'm pretty sure these are two different lengths, but whatever, we move, it's fine. So the first hairstyle I'm gonna show you is one that I literally have had in so many of my YouTube videos, which is just my really basic part up, part down look. And um, I normally just have this with like a scrunchie in my hair, normally a scrunchie that matches my outfit. I don't have a, like a burgundy brown scrunchie, so I've got this little like satin one, this is from Boohoo, um, which is actually really cute, like it's a nice champagne brown colour, so it's kind of autumnal, you know. So, first thing I'm going to do is just grab these two front bits, and I'm just going to keep them there. Sometimes I tie them up if they get in my way, um, but hopefully it will work if I just kind of leave them at the front. Right, so then I grab a hairbrush, this one's just um by manta it's literally just like a really basic hairbrush but this one's really good it's actually made um for people that are suffering with like hair loss um but it's really good for people with blonde hair because our hair is just so like dry if you're not a natural blonde like i'm not as you can tell um my hair just breaks so easily so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to obviously take these two front bits here then from just about here so you know where your sideburns are i'm just gonna section off my hair from there to create a little ponytail, looking cute. And what I'm gonna do, because I just have such like a defined middle parting, I'm just gonna brush my hair and kind of smooth it off at the top. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not that particular about this. I just try and make sure it hasn't got like any lumps that make me look like I've got a weird shaped head. Um, so literally you don't have to like get it completely, completely smooth because this is quite a messy, hairstyle it's quite like day to day and chill so i'm just gonna pull all my hair up here and i'm just gonna grab um hairband or like a hair elastic there's so many different names for this um i just have them in the same color as my hair and i'm just going to tie it around the ponytail okay and then i'm gonna pull it tighter so a way to like not get weird like lumpy bits here is if you pull it kind of from like underneath. Let me turn around so you guys can kind of see. So if you pull it from like these underneath bits here, it still makes it go higher, but it stops so many lumpy bits at the front. Whereas if you like pulled it that way. So just keep playing with it. It doesn't have to be perfect like I was saying. Um, I do like mine to be quite high just to kind of show off the curls and stuff so that is how it's looking at the moment you can obviously pull some more bits out at the side i sometimes do pull little bits out by the ear i don't know what it is like little straggly bits of hair at the front just make a look so there we go and then you can leave it like this as i said you can wrap hair around it i like to use scrunchies i feel like i'm living the 90s dream i was a 90s baby even though i was in the late 90s so i probably didn't have much hair when <laughs> when I was alive in the 90s. Um, so I'm going to just pop this scrunchie on as well. This is actually quite a big scrunchie and I'm just gonna wrap it round, I think twice, cause sometimes when you wrap like scrunchies round too much, they go really high up here and then you look like your ponytail starts like really high up. So it's not a vibe, but I quite like that at the moment. And then I'm just gonna kind of smooth out the top bits here cause they did get a little bit messed up along the way. But yeah, that is basically like my main go-to hairstyle. I wear this practically every video, I'm not gonna lie. Um, obviously, I kind of switch it up. Sometimes I do like more hair at the bottom and then I do like a little bit at the top. I'm not gonna lie, my hair looks like a complete different color right now, doesn't it? I've got like my really dark bits underneath and then the blonde at the top. 
but we move, it's okay. So that is hairstyle number one. This next look is something that I literally have seen like my mum wear, my auntie wear back in the 90s. It was such a big thing then and literally on like TikTok and Instagram right now, again, they are huge and it is claw clips. Oh my gosh. I'm actually not gonna lie, I took these from my mum and I'm pretty sure this one actually could be from the 90s. Like this one is very old. I think this one's a bit newer. Um, I am gonna try it with the smaller brown one, but my hair, it, I don't know what happens. Some days it wants to be thick. Some days it doesn't wanna be so thick. So sometimes it will fit in this kind of clip lovely and sometimes I'll need the big clip. But we're gonna try this one because it goes better with my outfit. It's more autumnal. So again, you're gonna get your little bits at the front here. I have actually brushed the rest of my hair out, but I'm trying not to brush these two out just because they'll lose their curl a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna smooth. Oh my God, look, this is why I said I need to tie them up. So I'm just gonna smooth these bits all down here and I'm just gonna pull them like so into a kind of low pony looking thing. I'm gonna smooth out all the little flyaway bits just a little bit, literally, this this look is so easy. And then I'm gonna pull my hair, let's go to the side, so hopefully you can see. I'm gonna pull my hair into a low ponytail looking thing. You guys can tie this up if you've got like hair that's a little bit more difficult or like longer hair, you can probably tie it up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold this bit here at the bottom and then I'm gonna twist all my hair around there and twist and pull it up. Um, if your hair's twisted enough, it should actually do it quite easily. So I'm just gonna keep that twist tight. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my clip and just put that over the top of the, the little twist. And then you can kind of like play around with these bits here. If you don't want the little tufty bits, you can tuck them into the clip as well, but I think they look quite cute. And actually, if you've got hair a little bit longer than mine, it will probably look even better, um, or if you don't do the twist so tight, but this is what the hair looks like. I feel like this is such like an easy, basic look. All you need is a little clip, and you're ready to go. Obviously you don't actually need like these two little bits at the front, but I think they kind of make the look look a little bit more classy. So I like to keep them. And yeah, that is the look, like literally so easy. Okay, so look three is actually something I wear more of like straight hair, but beggars can't be choosers. We're gonna do it with curly hair and we're gonna make it work. So get your little friends at the front as per. And it's just gonna be a low bun. But actually what I quite like to do with my low bun is have a quite a deep kind of middle parting. I mean, it already is quite deep. God, that is so red. I got a sunburnt head whilst I was on holiday. Cute. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually smooth out the hair as much as we can, get it to look as straight as possible because this hair look doesn't really work if you've got like little wavy bits of hair. It just doesn't look as like sleek. So. Just smooth that all down as much as you can. I mean, to be honest, we're all gonna be in bloody lockdown again soon, so no one's gonna no one's gonna see anyway if there's some curly bits. Right. So once that's all smoothed and you're looking really cute, um, you're going to just grab the hair. Actually, I might smooth it out a little bit more. Keep that parting looking as good as you can. I feel like I've got a random piece of hair there. It's not that straight, but whatever. Then we are going to grab the hair and we're going to tie it actually in a low pony. We move to the side. So yeah, just tie it in a low pony. I'm using just one of the smaller um, hair bands that I have. Okay, so once you've got your hair in that low pony, you're going to do the same kind of twisting thing that we did with the claw clip. And you're just gonna wrap your hair around Sometimes it takes me a few goes because I have like little bits of hair that I don't like the feel of, but it's not really that big of a deal. And then instead of using any kind of like bobby pins or anything, I'm just going to use the same scrunchie that I used for the first look. And I'm just going to tie this tight enough that it's going to keep the bun in place. And to be honest, because the scrunchie is so big, if you've got little flyaway hairs, the scrunchie kind of like hides them. So that is how it's currently looking. Just gonna pull out some bits here to give it a little bit more volume. But that is the main bulk of the bun. I do like to keep the bun quite neat, um, but it also looks nice messy actually, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then I kind of just pull out some bits here. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it does definitely have quite a different vibe with straight hair. It does look a little bit more like classy, put together, you know. But 
I'm not mad about it. I think it looks quite nice. Let me know your thoughts on this look. Um, it's just nice and easy and it kind of like, if you just have really basic makeup on, if you like whack on like a nude lipstick, a red lipstick and do your hair like this, you look like you're ready for business, honey. So yeah. So the next hairstyle is actually something I've only recently started doing because my hair has finally got to a length where it doesn't look stupid and it is a high ponytail. I love a high pony i used to oh my god i used to literally have high ponies all day every day when i had long hair oh my god r.i.p my old hair i miss it so much so i mean it's not going to be the most ariana grande ponytail you've ever seen in your life but i do really like it and i think with the curly hair it looks quite cute because it's like nice and flicky and lots of texture etc etc so grab your little bits at the front as per and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just sleek Sleek, slick, yes, yeah, slick and smooth that hair back as much as you possibly can. Sometimes I actually just like turn my head upside down and do it, but I'm going to try and do it a nice classy way for you guys today. So, just going to pull up the hair and I kind of do this in sections. I just kind of like raise it slowly but surely just to make sure that it's still looking nice and smooth just keep it going i don't know about you guys but i always seem to end up with like a little point here on my head which is just not the vibe that we want today we do not want to look like pointy headed people Okay, once you've got your pony at the desired height, I genuinely don't think mine's going to go much higher than this before it all starts falling out at the bottom. I'm just going to secure it with one of the larger um, hair bands that I have. Hair bubbles, that's what other people call it, isn't it? Hair bubble. Um, so just secure it there. Maybe I can raise it a bit higher, maybe. And just pull it up so it's nice and tight. You can always make the ponytail a bit higher except I've just given myself that pointy head that I was talking about and then kind of just pull out the little bits here to kind of keep it looking smooth god my blonde hair is not helping with this look today frizz central what I might do actually with these little bits that are clearly wanting to come out and say hi I'm just gonna pull them down and kind of hope that they actually look okay maybe i'll make one big chunk of the hair here oh yeah that works okay i love how this is such a trial and error process like i'm not even really too, like doing a tutorial i'm just like let's just see what works out okay that looks that looks okay that looks cute so for this hairstyle i'm going to try and keep it looking nice and classy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab a bit of hair from underneath here Actually, that looks quite dark. Maybe I'm going to grab a top bit, actually, just because it's a bit blonder at the top. Lovely, that looks quite blonde. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this bit of hair around the hairband slash bubble. Just to cover it, even though it's hair coloured anyway. And we're going to secure it with a bobby pin, which I don't have, so let me grab one. And then you're just going to secure that down with a bobby pin. I've just got like a hair coloured one here. Um, and I'm just going to push that through the hair. And then under where the hair bubble is to make it extra secure. You can obviously like hairspray this and stuff if you want to as well. Oh my god I've got a massive curly bit there. But yeah that is this hairstyle. I really like this one actually. It's kind of given me like very back to school vibes. Um, if you've got really long hair, if you've got like one of those really long like fake ponytail things, this look looks so nice, especially with like the Ariana Grande sweep thing. But yeah, I quite like this one. It's nice and like simple and easy and it just is really effective and I really like the actual, I actually really like the thicker bits of hair at the front. I feel like it really adds to the look. You can always pull this higher and actually have it like kind of separated on each side, but as you can tell for me doesn't look it's not looking that great but yeah this look is probably like one of the most easy out of the ones i've shown you guys this is literally what i was saying as soon as i brush my hair out those curls at the front basically just disappear but gosh this is looking very sleek and i don't like it right so the final hairstyle is actually like my go-to it is one of my favorite hairstyles ever i'm obsessed with it so 
what you want to do is you want to start off with a middle parting my mirror has moved give me one second yes okay so you want to start off with a middle parting and you want to kind of get it quite far down your head i mean it's a little bit squiggly but it's fine so what we're going to do now is we're going to grab all this front section here and actually the section just above where your sideburn is and you can grab as much hair as you want i kind of like to grab about this much i'd say this is maybe like an eighth of my hair i'd say about an eighth and you're just going to grab this and start pulling it back you're also going to want to smooth it like the whole point of this look is to actually have this looking as smooth as possible and just keep brushing it until you've got the desired smoothness that you want you can also decide how high you want the little pigtail to be i kind of like about here on my head so like if you i don't know about half about halfway on my head i feel like that's the best way to say it but yeah just keep smoothing that all down if you want you can use like a hairspray you can use product um, I'm not going to just for the pure sake of this video just because I don't want to <laughs> accidentally mess it up with product in and then have to refilm it and then you're going to grab one of the small hair bands just one of these little babies here literally teeny tiny and you're going to tie your little pigtail up and then when you've tied it up just tighten it but just do it quite gently because obviously it's like a smaller amount of hair i sometimes find if i tie it too tight it can actually give me a bit of a headache so just do it enough so that it looks cute but you don't have to like go crazy with it i'm just gonna move that a little bit further up my head okay so that is pigtail one and then you're literally just gonna do the exact same on the other side so just grab that top bit of hair grab the little bit underneath the sideburn just grab some bits from behind just to get it looking thick what I also do as well is I kind of feel the thickness of this and of this and then try and see if they're like the same. So that's not quite the same. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more hair. And then just smooth that all down as much as you can again. Also just make sure that your bunchies are the same height either side. I feel like they're looking okay. What you can also do is you can add in like cute little colourful scrunchies or like add in some little um, hair clips and stuff and give it like a very 90s look. But I actually quite like the way this is looking now, especially with the brushed out curls. It kind of is like a more kind of 2020 version of a 90s look. Um, I'm obsessed with this. I wear this hairstyle so much. I just think it looks so cute. It's really bouncy today. I feel like this one has gone the best out of them all. So that is every single hairstyle that I have to show you guys today. Do let me know if you enjoyed this video because I can think of more hairstyles and I can do another one at another point. Um, these are just the ones that I have in my current skill set at the moment. But we can improve. I'm sure we can somehow. I don't really know. Um, but thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you did like it, and you like me be sure to hit that thumbs up button and do subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video bye